hey guys welcome back so in this video we are going to cover the additional access patterns for our DynamoDB data modeling application we are going to cover the inverted index in the upcoming video we will cover the GSI overloading and sparse indexing so what is an inverted index inverted index are used to model a many-to-many -many relationship now one part of the many-to-many -many relationship can be queried by the table primary keys using the partition key and the sort key or the primary key of the table but when it comes to other part of the many-to-many -many relationship the other side of the many-to-many -many relationship we can use an inverted index to query that now let me give you an example so this is the example use case that we have been discussing over so in this example it's a project management tool and it had projects and employees these two entities so between these two entities there's a many-to-many -many relationship one project can have multiple employees and one employee can be part of many projects in a previous lesson I broke this many-to-many -many relationship into a two one-to-many relationship using a third additional table so I called it project employee so there's one to many relationship with employee and projects and projects to project employees there's another one to many relationship and after that we identify the partition key and the sort key for project employee entity now uh, look at this top table I have isolated only the project employee entity here well it had project employees and organization entities as well but here I isolated only the project employee entity now this project employee entity it has a partition key of org hash org ID then pro hash the project ID we use this org hash org ID to denote our hierarchy because all the projects employees are part of an organization so it has to be within an organization so that's why this org hash org ID so similarly for the sort key we have a similar format so org hash org ID it's the same but instead of project or PRO we have EMP and then the EMP ID or the employee ID now using this table primary key or the partition key and the sort key I can easily query for the employees list of a particular project so I can query one part of the many to many relationship so all I have to provide is the PK value or the partition key value here so org hash then whatever the org ID then hash pro hash then whatever the project ID then it will return all the employees or the records inside this partition so I don't necessarily have to enter a value for the sort key this can be left blank or empty but when it comes to querying the other way around like to find out the projects that an employee belongs to then I can use a similar pattern but unfortunately I cannot leave the partition key empty so that's why I need to define a new GSI so in this case I call project employee index where its primary key is the sort key of the table see so this is the sort key of the table but that becomes the primary key or the partition key rather of the GSI and the partition key of the table becomes the sort key of the GSI so because of this inverse selection we call this an inverted index now let's look at an example all right right now I am in the DynamoDB table and I have two organization happy Inc and ABC incorporation that we created in the previous lessons and under happy Inc we have project X Y and F1 project X and project Y are agile projects and F1 is a fixed bit project now let's create some employees and assign them into these projects so here's I'm back in the code and let me uncomment the first block of code so here I create a employee called Manoj in happy Inc so I have the happy Inc organization ID and I'm generating a unique ID for Manoj so as parameters we have to pass uh, the project or the table name happy projects and we need to specify the partition key and the sort key for creating an employee entity in our database so during an earlier lesson we discussed the partition key for an employee is in the format of org hash org ID just like this 
and the sort key of an employee is of EMP hash employee ID. We can provide other information like employee name, email and so on. So I give employee name and email then we will run DynamoDB put operation in order to create the record in DynamoDB. So let's save the changes. I'll take a terminal and I run node index.js. So it's successfully executed. Now if we refresh the table, I should see Manoj Fernando created inside our table. So let's create a couple other guys. I will say John. And I also create Jane as well. Now let's assign Manoj to both project X and project Y because Manoj can be part of both projects. I will uncomment this block of code. So this is about assigning an employee to a project. So this is the happy ink project ID. This is project X ID, project Y ID and project F ID. So we are focusing on project X for Manoj. So let's pick the ID for Manoj, employee ID. So if I go to Manoj record right here, and the employee ID is right here after EMP hash. So let me copy this. Here we use the partition key and the sort key of employee project entity. So if you can remember it has org hash, then the org ID, then hash project, then project ID. For the sort key, it is pretty much the same except instead of project PRO, this is an EMP for employee then I've added the employee ID. I can add some any additional information like I can have the name of the employee like Manoj and the project, project X as metadata and also another metadata for date of join. So let's execute that. If I refresh the table, I should find project employee entity record. Here we have it. So date of join, name, and the partition key, and the sort key, and the project. Great. So let's add Manoj to project Y as well. So instead of project X here, I will specify project Y. And let's execute the same command. So he's assigned to both of these projects. Now let's get the ID of John and add him only to project X. So I get the ID of John right here after EMP hash. And in the same time, I'll get the ID of Jane as well. Okay, so now let's assign John to project X. I will select John. Now I add Jane to project Y. So Instead of John, this is Jane. Instead of project text, this is project Y. Okay, so now that we have assigned employees to projects, so let's see how to query the employees assigned to a particular project. So let me comment out this code. So this is about finding employees assigned to, in this case, project X. So I have happy ink ID and also the project X ID. So these are the parameters I'm passing down to DynamoDB query, table name happy ink, and the key condition expression, partition key, hash PK equal the PK value. So what is the PK value? So it is nothing but the partition key of our project employee entity, which is org hash, then org id hash project or pro hash then the project id so we don't have to specify sort key this will query one part of our many to many relationship between projects and employee so let's run this and check if we get all the employees assigned to project x great so i got 
both John and Manoj who are assigned to project techs. But hey, how do we find the projects that Manoj is part of? Well, for that, we have to use that inverted index. So let's create an inverted index. I go to the indexes tab here. Now I already created this index. So for the partition key, I selected the sort key of the table. For the sort key, I selected the partition key of the table. So how can we do it from scratch? Click create index here. And then you are supposed to type the partition key. So in this case, you have to type the sort key of the table SK and check add sort key. And here for the sort key, type PK. So it is the inverse. And you can provide any name for the index, which we are going to refer as the index name when querying. So I'm going to project all the attributes. Or you can pick keys only, or you can include certain attributes. So in this case, let's pick all for this demo. And you have to specifically mention what is the RCU and WCU for this index. Since this is a GSI, we have to specify these RCU and WCU units. And then click Create Index. So I will cancel this out since I already have it. So now let's query this index in order to get the projects that Manoj is part of. So I will comment out the previous code block and then uncomment the last code block here. So we need the ID of Manoj, which I can copy from here. And this is the organization ID. Now these are the parameters that we pass down to our DynamoDB query. As usual, we have to specify what project this is. This is happy project. Now, in addition to the table name, we have to specify the index name as well. So our index name is project employee index, which is this name. And then as the key condition, we use the SK attribute because SK attribute is the partition key of this index. So I can only pass value to SK. I don't need to specify any value to PK. So what is the value of SK? So I can easily say org hash, then the org ID, and then it is EMP hash, the employee ID, which is Manoj. Now this should return all the projects that Manoj is part of. Now this is the other side of the many-to-many -many relationship between projects and employees. So let's run this. So Manoj is part of project X and also Manoj is part of project. Well, this should be Y. I think I did not type the project Y name when I was assigning Manoj to project Y. Instead, I copy pasted it. So I forgot to name the project name. But here you can see the difference. You see this project ID is one thing. Start with EB and this project ID start with 25. So these are two separate projects. So that's how you model many to many relationships using inverted index. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video.